as a first draft of project submission for AI bootcamp for educators by Stampedia. So as a first project, this is a face taking project. So in the Pictoblocks, it's uh, pretty simple. This is a nice software for AI as well as kids. So let's start with the face tracking. I'm going to turn on my video and I'll click on green flag. So according to project, it should just uh, identify my face. It should check where is my face. It should move it to the position. If I'm going far, it should also change the size of its uh, square. It should be small. Yeah, it's, it's working. Yeah, so when I was exploring this thing, I thought, what if we try with a multiple faces? So I just stop this one and I have tried few things and it works quite well. So I have this backdrop over here on stage and I just want to identify how many faces are there and I'll use the same program. So basically I am uh, counting how many faces are there and I am moving that square to each face position and I'm also setting the size of each face according to its position and for each square I'm creating a clone. It's a pretty easy thing. Now let's try it. We will go to full screen mode and click on green flag. And let's say it. Yeah, it's working. It's showing 16 faces detected. And uh, yeah, as this program is in forever, it's working quite well. And when I was exploring this software, I thought, how can I check an expression of each face? So to check that thing, I just tried a new project. So for each face, it should tell me how many faces are happy, how many faces are sad, how many faces are angry. So that means I just want to identify that, okay, in this photo, how many people are happy? Yes, yeah, so this could be a cool project. So it's a pretty easy thing. I just made a variable for all those kind of uh, expressions. And I'm just saying, whichever expression is detected, I'm just changing variable by one. So every time I should have the actual count. Yeah. So let me just hide these variables and let's go to full screen mode and I will try this thing one more time. And we'll just wait for few seconds. It is detecting these many faces are happy. And now let's wait for my sprite. It says 16 faces are happy, 0 are angry, 0 are surprised face and 0 are sad. So this is for the first backdrop. Now let us try for the other backdrop. I have used uh, other backdrops as well. Now let's try for this one. Yeah, so yes, it's, it's working pretty well. It's showing two faces are happy, 0 angry. Zero surprise, set this for neuter. Yeah, so this is working quite well. And I also explored one more thing. When we are using faces with a you know different kind of angle, then it's a little difficult for this AI model to find where is the that face and what are expressions. So right now in this image, it's showing wrong count. Six faces are detected. Yes, of course, uh, orientation of face and other things also matters. Here, I think this is my, uh, this is confusing this AI model, but I'm pretty happy with the result. And uh, yeah, this is my soft, this is my project as a first submission. So thank you, and thank you for the first session. That was a really nice one. Thank you.